Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amul's Academy. Today in this tutorial we are discussing about how to print stars in alphabetical O shape. And this code is also similar to the previous pattern programs. So let's begin with the code. Here is the output and here we can see stars in different row and column. To print stars in different row and column we are using two for loop. One for loop is to print stars in the row and another one is for column. And here we can say in the output there are seven rows and five columns are there. So here we can see the first for loop here for row in range. Here row is a variable and we are using range function. As I said there are 7 rows are there in the output. So I will mention 7 here that is range is from 0 to 7. So it will give output as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Inside this for loop we are taking another for loop to print stars in the column. Here call is the variable name and here also we are using range function. And in the output there are 5 columns are there. That's why I will take 5 here. Okay. And inside this for loop we are taking if else conditional statement that is we need to print stars in some particular pattern for that we need condition that's why we are using conditional statement. Here after if keyword we need to mention the condition that is in which row and column you want to print star. So if we see the output first we'll check for the column. And here we can see at the column 0 and column 4 we want to print star. But we can see at row 0 and row 6 we don't want any star. That is this place. That is we want to print star in column 0 and column 4. But at that time row should not be 0 and 6. That is we are concentrating here. Okay, so I'll write the condition like this. I'll check whether column is equal to equal to 0 or column is equal to equal to 4. Okay, this is logical OR operator and in the logical OR operator, if any of the input is true, then output will be true. Here to print star, I need either column equal to 0 or column equal to 4. And at that time, row should not be equal to 0 and row should not be equal to 6. Okay, this is my first condition. Here I am checking whether column is equal to 0 or column equal to 4. Okay, if it is true, then at that time row should not be 0 and 6. Here, to print star, I want this both the condition to be true that's why I used logical and here okay if any one of this is true at that time row should not be equal to 0 and row should not be equal to 6 then only we want to print star and next I'll take or operator that's because I want to print star if this condition is true or if it is false then I'll go for the another condition and I'll check whether that is true or not. Okay. So I used or here. Here we are done with the column. So now we'll go to the row. And here we can see at the row 0 and row 6 we want to print star. Right. That is when column 1, 2, 3 we want star. So here. I'll check whether row is equal to equal to 0 or row is equal to equal to 6. If it is true then column should be greater than 0 and column should be less than 4. Okay this is my second condition where we are checking whether row is equal to 0 or row equal to 6. If it is true then column should be greater than 0 and less than 4. That's because we want only these three stars. Right. So column should be greater than 0 and less than 4. Here to print star I want 
both this condition to be true that's why i use and here okay and next i'll mention colon and inside the if condition will print star end is empty string in print by default end value will be slash n but in our output after printing one star i want another star immediately after that i don't want any new line between them that's why i used empty string here okay and next if this condition become false then control goes to the else part and we will print space that is here we can see space this is all because of the execution of else statement and inside the first for loop here we can see inside the first for loop we are using print it's because after printing star in one row we want to go to the next line here we can see so for that we are using this print so now we are done with the code so i'll save this and run this and here we can see the output Okay that's it for now thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel i'll meet you in next class till then take care